Welcome back to the Pinball Chronicles. Today we have the Raspberry Pi hooked up through a logic level converter to the MCP23017 chip, which is an I.O. expander with an I2C interface. So the Raspberry Pi does a really good job at I2C interfacing, and so we can hook it up to this little chip. Now, as you can see, we've got three LEDs hooked up, and, of course, the keyboard, and we got this on the screen up here. When we set the right registers on the chip to do the right things, to the right values, poof, the lights come on. And then when we set the registers back to zero again, the lights go off. So we can set them to go on and set them to go off. It's pretty slick in my opinion. And though this might not be that impressive to someone who doesn't actually know what's going on, what this will allow me to do is have up to 16 inputs and outputs just on one chip connected to the Raspberry Pi, which I can use to drive solenoids and lights and use them for switch readings and all that kind of stuff on the pinball machine. Now the neat thing is, this chip is on the I2C bus, so it has three address pins on it. So if you have, let's see, four plus two is six plus one is seven, we could have up to seven of those chips all hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. And, let's see, 16 inputs and outputs on each chip times 7 is a very large number of inputs and outputs that we could all quite easily have hooked up to the Raspberry Pi for this pinball machine. So, that's, that's a good advancement, in my opinion. It was a morning's worth of work, and some parts recently came in the mail. So you can turn them on, and you can turn them off. And, of course, those are individually addressable, too, so I could turn one or more of them on or one or more of them off if I was really good at hexadecimal. <laughs> so, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check back soon. Thanks!